Ladies and gentlemen, you join me as we are about to market our new game, Ninja Man, for the, what is it, for the Woo, Play System 4, and the Mbox One. Um, we will see how well this goes. We've got no G3 to back us up. Uh, this is a brand new game as well, so we don't have this whole sequel thing going for us. You know, Bound Tower sales are running a little bit dry. Maybe I focus on building a new version of the Bound Tower. You know what? I kind of want to do that. Let's do that. We'll call this the Bound... The Bound... Not the Bound Tower. Bound Brick. Yes. I actually quite like the first variation there. Ooh! Oh, because it's kind of like the first one we did, but now it's slightly different. Let's crank the quality assurance budget all the way up there as well. What do we want to throw into this? We don't really have anything else we can, so let's wait on that. Let's research some more things which we can put in there, because I really want this to be good. Maybe... Oh, does it have to be using an engine? Ooh, we do need to figure out our engine for our AAA game, which is almost... Ooh, it's almost ready. Our AAA titles are now ready. Our AAA game requires well-trained staff at, at its best to be... Okay. Okay, we definitely need to do that. We can also use the R&D lab to develop a special marketing campaign which greatly enhances the hype around the game. Hardware lab can be used to develop special uh, hardware products such as keyboard, mice, and headset that are sold with the game. That's kind of cool. Is that a new project then? No. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're just going to do the own convention thing anyway because that's going to fill up super quick. We'll get some hype uh, and some money too. Okay, I think that's a little bit too high. Let's go back to there. Okay, large booth. Uh, we're not going to get any hype for this game, so that's fine. New record in technology. Ninja Man is out there. Okay, let's release it. And we got some upgrade and a dynamic world. Oh, and 3D graphics v6. Really? Oh, why are they doing this to me? Wait, why? Why is 3D graphics v6 not there? Wait, can I not? Why can't I? Wait, hang on. Can I only get that from the research and development lab? Lab? Ooh, that's not so hot. That's not so hot at all. That's probably not going to sell a lot, but we do have 350 million uh, cash at the moment. I always automatically go to call it dollars, but never mind. I guess we'll find out if we can get it from there sooner or later. Everyone needs a vacation, which is fine. You know, one day my character might even be get sent, uh, get to go on a vacation. I think we're going to have to stick with doing a. Uh, doing what's the word like a, a sequels because <laughs> they're really where the money's at oh here comes g3 the ninja man this will bump up sales a bit nowhere near as many sales as the last ones we've only sold 3.1 million bound towers as well okay are we still made it into the top booth though so that's kind of cool let's get you to research some stuff oh, very strange um okay Ooh, maybe we hmm I really don't know. Easter eggs, minigame... Okay, let's think. Um, no loading screens. That will be pretty crucial uh, for a, a large-scale game. Uh, story and quests. Oh, I do want interactive story and moral choices. And all those. Oh, man. We really need more research points. Let's get some contract works going. Movies, yeah. Let's do that. Let's put that in. Uh, 500k, is that it? Is that really it? We're winding up to do some pretty epic things, though. And we've successfully organized our own convention. So, is this where I can get... There we are, 3D graphics version 6. Pushing the boundaries of photorealism with this revolutionary graphics engine will blow away everything that has come before. Near infinite draw distance, ultra high polygon counts, and realistic particle and volumetric effects. We're going to get that so quick, and that's going to go in our next engine. We didn't complete the contract. Oh, okay. It's a great combination, not very important. Oh, okay. Interesting. Good to know. Right. Let's... Oh, no. Let's... Uh, where are we? Fine. Contract work. Because I'm pretty sure that once we've researched 3D Graphics version 6, we're going to have to research it anyway. So... Okay, that was fairly painless. We didn't really get too many stuff from it. I kind of want to push out a medium game just so we can get points for it. At the same time, I really want to, like, specialize our staff in stuff. But I want to get stuff for the new console, for the new engine. It's really frustrating. 
There's so much I want to do and not enough game time to do it. You can slow down the game, but that's right at the beginning and it's not really recommended. It's recommended to keep it in line. Basically, it, it just slows down how long the... the music, is that it? Just a million? We did that in the first week and it's been out for like a year. Come on, man. We can do better than that. We're going to have to do better than that. Let's go back. Way back. See if we can find a really old game we can bring back to life. Darvel vs. Capcom. We just did an action game. Otherwise, I would do that. Horror simulation. Zombies action. Horror adventure. Sports strategy. Cow football manager. Let's bring this one back. Let's make a triple A game. Let's call this bovine simulator. Sports strategy. That's a bad combo. Let's completely ignore that. <laughs> um, how about if we just... Ooh. Ships Ahoy report. Let's make this a... Okay, let's do this. Ships Ahoy. There we go. Uh, so it's a pirate strategy game, which was also apparently a bad combination. Uh, what would you say pirates are good as? Like, maybe... Not strategy, like an RPG or an adventure? I'd say, like, adventure is probably the way to go. But then is it a true port or a true... Uh, uh, a sequel, we'll soon find out. Adventure games do really good on the PC. Uh, adventure games on the Woo, probably not. I'm pretty sure we can't go AAA. Oh, we can go AAA, interesting. On the Mbox One, maybe? And what about on the play system? Might as well try it. And we'll use our sort of oldish, at this point, game engine. Uh, pirates, I kind of think like we're gonna have to just go yeah, we're just going to have to go with everyone. All right, here we go. Marketing campaign and custom hardware. Wait, custom hardware? Oh, yeah, for, like, the uh, controllers and stuff. Oh, maybe that's what I needed to wait for. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Ooh, I'm kind of excited at the same time, terrified about this. Our backlog for the Bound Tower seems to be okay as well. They were spending a good, decent amount of money on it. Ships Ahoy. This is like the brand new Ships Ahoy. So let's think, if it's an adventure game, it's going to focus mainly around the stories. Okay, so let's crank in all of those. Uh, and as far as the engine is concerned, let's get rid of mod support. And that's really it, I guess. Um, okay, so we want our design specialist to focus on that. 109. Why is it 109? Oh, because it's triple a okay uh let's bring that down a little bit then 100 percent on the triple a okay wow that really does split it up a crazy amount jeez this might take a long time to complete this game ninja man is going to come off sale <laughs> but yeah hopefully we can come out with like a triple a mmorpg and it will be amazing this is going to have so many points to it we're going to get so many research points as well because it's going to take so long to develop. <laughs> and, I mean, we've got 3D graphics version 6 going down there. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever released a AAA game in this game before. Okay, the Bound Tower. Everyone's super happy with their Bound Towers being fixed. We could save money there, but at the minute, everyone's loving our company for it, so let's just, let's just stick at it. How long is this going to take us? This is Roland Keane from Smash. We're making a new game. Yes, we are. I'm going to hype it. I'm going to hype it. It's way early to hype it, but I'm still going to say it's going to be good. I, You know, I kind of want to make a new console, but I don't think... Oh. Let's use our in-house hardware labs to design, develop. Let's have release. Okay, sure. Let's do that. We have successfully completed research on our next generation graphics technology. We can now start building a game engine to make use of this end. Cool. Okay, so we don't have to research it. We just have to uh, go straight in there and just put it in. So, what else can we do? Let's use our in-house skills to design a special marketing campaign for our AAA title. Let's do it, man. I mean, that will be done way before the game is released. So, I mean, look at this. Just cranking it up there. Custom hardware for our AAA game. You know, marketing campaign for our AAA game. So, maybe this stuff is only available whilst you're developing a AAA game? I don't know. Let's crank up the uh, uh, the dialogues. Um, 
and then ooh, wait hang on oh yeah adventure game so let's bring down the AI and put that to the table there level design um, let's get rid of AI companions bring in the dialogue tree okay Warden Vector is no longer involved in the making of this game uh, let's bring oh James is already doing that okay let's bring in Steven to do that one the AI that way we've got James to focus on one of the last sections, but that should be fine. Uh, Warden is no longer going to be doing the AI. Actually, ooh. Ooh. If we put... What? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, we need someone that's relatively good, but not amazing at design. You know, that should have been me, really. And then we'll put Teresa in charge of dialogue. But then I don't think dialogue's that important. Oh, man. <laughs> this is really tough. Uh, we need to save Teresa for the, the graphics, so let's do it like that and hope that works. Ooh, this is exciting yet terrifying at the same time, and it takes so long to do this section, man. Like, understandably why, because it's a AAA game. Uh, we're going to get those marketing and uh, hardware done in time, though, it looks like. Three million per month we're spending, oh my goodness. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> I wonder, okay, I know they're working on something. Can I still develop a console? No, I can't, that's fine. Why is there like a, a steel sliding door to my hardware lab? And also a portal turret, I just noticed that. How did I not notice that before? Our own gaming convention is taking place in four weeks. Okay, that will help drive hype. That's pretty insane. And we're gonna hit G3 as well for Ships Ahoy. This massive AAA pirate adventure game <laughs> that's releasing on like every single console. And I haven't released any console or any games on Bound Tower yet. Why not? Oh, Ninja Man and Ships Ahoy. Wait, that looks like a really. S that looks like a real. Oh, that's my own convention. Oh, okay. Wow. 1.5 million for my own convention. Interesting. I wonder if we gain any fans from that. 823k fans, that's pretty crazy. 12.7k, uh, that's, that's quite a few. Okay, last section of design for Ships Ahoy. There's a hundred bugs in this beast. Obviously, well design is super duper important. Uh, graphics are somewhat important, sound really isn't, but we still want to keep it in there for surround sound. Well design include everything. Okay, so. I think we can put Teresa in charge of that. And she's at 102. Eww. There we go. And then if we just put... Oh, we've, see, we've got no technology specialist now. Or design specialist, even. So I kind of want to put Teresa in charge of that. But then we've got to put the design specialist... Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. We're going to put Steven in charge of that. And then... Hmm... <sighs> 114% can I lower that how much can I lower that by not a whole lot to be honest is I'm just gonna have to put James in charge of that but he's really bad at graphics I guess <laughs> okay that's gonna have to do oh that's really bad that we have to have someone that's not really good at graphics to do that and look at this they are all ready for vacations now Maybe I just send them on vacations as soon as possible. I mean, I know they just went on vacation before the game started. But, you know, it's a pretty crazy game. And these two are about to go on vacation too. Oh my goodness. We've got zero backlog still for a bound tower. Micronoth, here we go, has announced their plans to release a completely revamped version of the Mbox early next year called the Mbox Next. The new console seems... To to cleverly integrate Micronoft's own motion sensor add-on for the Mbox One into one small package. Visually, the Mbox Next is reminiscent of earlier Mbox 360 with much lighter tone, marking a departure from the bulky and dark style of the Mbox One. The technology of the Mbox Next seems to be promising, but we'll see how the new console competes with the popular Bound Tower console. Apparently, we're popular. That's good to know. <laughs> oh, look at the hype. The hype is real right now. Everyone's back and working on the thing. We're like finishing our backlog super quick because we've got so much money going into our hardware lab. Oh wait, is this... Was that finished? It must be finished. Uh, what can we start here? Own convention? No, we'll just get the research points, thank you very much. What about here? If we develop the console, we just go next. Oh, I can put 3D graphics V6 in there, that's awesome. 
Everything else, not too awesome. We need to research stuff to put in there. Eey, okay. <laughs> We're getting all them research points as well, which is fantastic. Good to see. You need to go on vacation, sir. And I do want to start marketing with a large campaign. This is going to be insane, I think. Hopefully we have the stats to make it good. I realize this episode is getting a little on the lengthy side, but we, we have made a whole AAA game in a single episode, which I hope does well. We're going to need to start making our MMO soon. I think that's going to be the next step. Strong audience, everyone. That's great, because that's what our game has made. Hype is going up. Ah, here we go. Many have expected that Vonnie will announce new platform before Micronoft's Mbox next will hit the market, and today Vonnie did just that. Keeping with company tradition and in contrast to competitor Micronoft's naming practices, the newly announced console is aptly named PlaySystem 5. Uh, the PlaySystem 5 seems an incremental update, coming out later next year with a form factor that reminds of the early PlaySystem 3. The new system promises to be a solid update, but, we'll, but we will see how well the console competes with a popular Bound Tower console. Still popular, apparently. <laughs> to be fair, we are we are still getting money, like, uh, half a million just there. Uh, oh, that was just for one month or one week. Okay, the game is practically finished. They're still getting points. Time to crack out those bugs. It's taken, like, two years to make this game. Should have probably waited... Wow, why are there suddenly points coming out? I uh, should have probably waited until we had some specialists, but now we've got the research points in order to actually get specialists, which is fantastic. We can use that to get loads of money for our MMO, AAA, <laughs> whatever it's going to be. Today, the next game platform, Mbox Next by Microsoft, has been released. Okay, <laughs> fingers crossed they iron out the bugs quickly, because I really need to release this. We've only lost like 50 million, but... At the same time, we need to get this done, and we also need to get a new console out. So we need to research stuff, we need to specialize people, we need to do it quick. No more bugs, doesn't look like it. Hype is dying down, hype has stopped increasing. Let's release it. There we go, our first AAA title. A new record in design, but no technology, which is kind of stuck, sucky, but never mind. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Immersive storytelling and celebrity voice acting. Let's start training. So, Teresa Hunter, we're going to train you to be our. Mm, I, I want a, a well design, but you need 360 technology. Do we have anyone uh, with 360 technology and a lot of design? Mm, ooh, you. Nearly you, actually. Juan Stanley. Oh, the first reviews are about to come in. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Join me next time when we see how well Ships Ahoy, our sequel, has done our first ever AAA game. Oh, boy. That took ages. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.